So my day begins. I got my bulletproof coffee. Gotta have your bulletproof coffee. It is just after 6 a.m. I'm going to wake up Captain in a couple of minutes, make him some breakfast, get him off to school. Um, but before I do that, I'm gonna go over some of my to-dos for the day. And uh, it's a pretty chill day working from home. My fab assistant is coming over and then we're gonna have a meeting. I'm gonna go outside, do a quick workout. Um, I have to go to the grocery store, I have to grab some veggies, grab some snacks for Carola. We'll probably go for a little stroll. I might bring you with me, I'll see. But yeah, so I'm just gonna go over our meeting, uh, what I wanna, what we wanna discuss and uh, just sit here like I do every morning, peace and quiet, you know, while the world is still sleeping, I can just uh, take a moment to just be, to just be. So this is how I start my day, literally, I just, gets me going. Whatever's in my spirit, if I want to hear E.T., if I want to hear Joyce Meyer, if I want to hear Gina DeVee, <laughs> Whatever I wake up with in my spirit, every morning while I'm getting ready, I just play a motivational audio or a video, whether it's a podcast, something. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. I'm so glad it is this nice on this day. I was so worried that it's gonna be cold and rainy, but look at this, God is so good. He's like, we need sunshine for my Lizzie. So this is my regular routine. Um, when the weather's nice, of course, I you know drop Captain off at school, and then I get my weights and my stuff ready, and I come down by the water, and I go for my run, put my stuff down, go for my run. And, uh, and then I go back to a bench. There's so many benches down here. I go back to a bench and I start doing my weights. I can't even tell you what this does for me. I mean, you know, during the winter we're so cooped up in the gym and, you know, doing your cardio and your classes and I love classes. And so when the weather gets like this, I just, I can't wait to get outside. the water recording one of my videos and they're recording me talking to you right now for my YouTube channel oh, so I know yeah what are you doing just going to the gym finally okay going to the um, gym good girl <laughs> I was gonna call you around lunch but I'm like okay so yeah, call me okay okay I love you too I will, you too, Mama. Do, do a little good morning dance for me. Oh, I will. <laughs> okay. Okay, love you. Okay, bye. bye. That's my morning check-in from my sister, and then I call her again around lunchtime. So you guys caught that on camera. <laughs> Ever. 
I feel good, ready to take this day on. So what's next? Gotta go pick up some veggies. I have a meeting with my fab assistant, as I call her. Not assistant, fab assistant, because she's fabulous. Carola, uh, I've got a quick Instagram live that I'm doing on the topic of self-love. So I'm ready. First thing I'm gonna do when I get in the house is make a smoothie. I do like working out on an empty stomach. I just feel better when I do that. Um, well, I always have to have my coffee. Like, let's not get it twisted now. So yeah, I'm ready. Call me very warmly. I'm her fab assistant. I've known Liz uh, for almost a couple of years now, and uh, we have become very close. I am very passionate about uh, who she is and what she does. Most of our working days have multi layers. It's not just usually a meeting to go over our projects and tasks. I know today it's Friday, so it's Fresh Flower Friday, so we will definitely be getting some of that. And since I didn't bring anything today, we will definitely go and get some goodies to get us through the uh, planning of the day. videos mm -hmm. down packed for the channel um, now one of the things I was thinking about is makeup mm, add one in there yeah yes. no meaning I want to make an artist oh yeah beautiful. yes I'm yes. sure you know right now I, I'm, I did this on my own yes it's probably gonna you're probably gonna see some shine or some dryness <laughs> there's a few people we can there's a few women I know um, a couple of my students mm -hmm. are so super sick yes. at it so I know that and I'd love to put one of them on and that's gonna open the door for a lot of our clients that are doing the same thing and yeah. getting their own videotaping and launching their own you know businesses whichever they are yeah where we can actually recommend them it's almost like a show and tell yes right yeah. they are doing our makeup for our portion of it working to help us mm -hmm. build it but at the same time you know we can uh, get them promoted them, and, yeah. yeah so I definitely want to do a YouTube launch party. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. Hello, Sheldon. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting there and I'm like, okay, this could be at the spot. Central enough, right? Uh, yeah. That yeah, you don't feel that, yeah, it's it central enough It goes with the brand. Everybody. Absolutely. You can do that setup mm -hmm. where it's side by side seated, mm -hmm. but if it's standing, it's, mm -hmm. uh, it's more like cocktail tables, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we can probably double, double, easily double that amount. Because even if it's 50 people. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. all. 50 yeah. people. I don't want to, you And know. you want it intimate. So I do. I want it perfect. intimate. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. yeah. Nice. I think we should call them. Good. Get that moving. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I obviously need to get rid of these flowers. It's Fresh Flower Fridays. Um, Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna go get some fresh flowers.
happy to be here. <laughs> I'm super excited. This is the second part of my day. I'm just waiting for a special guest. So we're here at Humber. I'm going to be speaking, facilitating uh, to my um, students here. I've been running a program here for about five weeks and we have a special guest today. This special guest is pretty much my spiritual mom who took me under her wings at, I don't know, I think I was about 20, 20 years old. And uh, yeah, so you'll see her, you get to meet her. I was just talking about you. Oh my God. This is her, this is my special guest. This is Mommy, my spiritual mom. Oh my god, it's on an approach. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> You guys requested Roma, so this is my Roma. This is my angel right here. I just, I had no one, you know, I was out there on the streets living this crazy life and I was probably at my darkest moments. She knew everything about me, like. When I think of it now, like she was the only person. Sorry, I don't mean to get like that. but. It was the only person I could actually be myself to. Um, she knew everything I was doing, everything. Like, like it was because like she loved me so much that it was. I wasn't used to that. I had never gotten that, and so many times I tried to push her away, but she was like this knucklehead. <laughs> no, she's like, I'm. You're not gonna push me away. Like I'm here. I'm not going anywhere publicly. It was this literally that speaking seed that she planted. And then after that, it was the girls group at my home. That was the very first girls empowerment anything that I ever did. But I still didn't think it was gonna be like something. It was just, I wanted to help a lot of the girls that were around me, like from you know my neighborhood and that were caught up in some of the things I was caught up in. They were coming and it started off with like three women and then it grew to like eight and then 12 and we were in this room cooped up and I would move the furniture all out of the way. It was just amazing. Like I really looked forward to that. We need visions. So what do, what do you want to be a man? A dog. Own your own business, a lawyer, a doctor, a entrepreneur, something. So everything, every your passion should be in that vision. So when you have your passion and that vision, it will help you to make your choices. And so I make a choice. I, I choose. This is the life that I live. So every day, when you have that, the decision you make every day, which should always be lining up to your vision. One of my boys that I grew up with, he's like 46, got taken out the other day by a 16 year old, robbed on the block his block that he was born and raised in. But these younger guys are coming up now. They don't respect anybody. They don't care. They're not like, who are you, bro? Like, this is my block now, you know, whatever. So he got taken out, a little kid took him out. That's the thing, like, that's what I always try to tell like all my students, like, you can't escape that. If you're in it, if you're doing certain things, if you're having unprotected sex with your man, with your girl, you're gonna get pregnant, you're gonna get somebody pregnant. You can't escape that unless you stop are gonna either get taken out, get robbed, go to prison. Like there are no, there's no way in how this is just gonna be cool like it is right now. Hell no. It's never, I've never seen that. First of all, this is Canada. Canada. Like I just had a student get a $10,000 grant, um, uh, entrepreneurship grant for the summer. So last year she did a summer program, an entrepreneur summer, summer program, and there's so many for you. And uh, she did really well with the program, and she applied for the grant, and she got it. So now to like launch her business. But Canada has a lot of that. Like there's just so much opportunities here to fulfill your dreams. Like too many. It's the vision. It's like set your mind on something and go for it. But why choose the hard way when everything is so much easier now? 
Joshua M. wants to say the words. <laughs> I felt it, it touched me. I, I know for sure it also spoke to some other people, so I appreciate it.